Hello everyone. Welcome to Pure Tutorials. Today our topic is about synthetic division method. Synthetic, sorry. Synthetic division. Synthetic division. Okay. Synthetic division method can also be called as Horner's Horner's synthetic division. Okay. Actually, what is the synthetic division? Horner's synthetic division. This Horner's synthetic division is used to factorize a polynomial of greater degree. That means if the polynomial contains more degree, then it is very difficult for us to factorize. That means it is not difficult, but we can factorize, but it is a time taking. That means we have to make certain uh, trials and we have to find each and every factor, so on. So it is a very lengthy process. So to, to simplify the process, so this new method that is synthetic division is introduced. Okay. Now, so for this, we will take one example, how to factorize a polynomial. That means, this is also used to find, that means find the quotient and remainder for a polynomial when divided with another polynomial in an easy way. That means without performing any actual division. Actual division, we can find the quotient and remainder for a polynomial which is divided with any, any and then okay. That means, for example, if you take a polynomial fx, fx <laughs> when divided with x minus a, so you already know that the remainder is f of a. So you can find the remainder. What about the quotient fx when divided with x minus a, the remainder is f of a. That already you know. Okay. Remainder theorem, factor theorem. But what about the quotient? Can you find the quotient? No. We can't find the quotient. So by using the synthetic division, we can find the quotient. And this is also used to factorize a polynomial in an easy way. Okay. <laughs> so with that, that we'll take one example. <clears throat> Here I take one example. Factorize. Factorize. X cube minus 4x square plus 5x minus 2. So this is the given polynomial. This polynomial contains at most how many factors? Three factors because the degree of this polynomial is three. So it contains at most three factors. So let us check whether one of the factor is x minus one or not. So okay, you already know that in the previous class I discussed about how to check whether x minus one is a factor of the given polynomial. Okay. So what is the procedure? Finding the sum of the quotients. If the sum of the quotients is equal to 0, then x minus 1 is one of its factor. Okay? So let's check the quotient is 1 and minus 4 plus 5 minus 2. So these are the quotients of the given polynomial. So let us check sum of the quotients. 1 plus 5 is 6. Minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 6 is 0. So the sum of the quotient is 0. Then x minus one, one of, is one of its factor. X minus one is one of its factor. Okay. So we already found one factor. So still, how many factors are there? Two more factors. Okay. So we are, we need to find the two more factors. So for that, what we have to do? We have to divide this polynomial with this polynomial by actual division. Okay. And find the co finding the quotients again. Factorize the quotients. Then we will get two more factors. Okay. So for simplifying, that means for finding that quotient in an easy way, we we'll have to use this synthetic division method. Okay. So what this synthetic division method says? First of all, arrange the quotients. Arrange the arrange the quotients of the given polynomial in a descending order. That means x cube quotient, x square quotient x quotient constant. So first of all you need to arrange the polynomial. That means suppose the polynomial is given in the jumbled way. That means giving the x, x square quotient first, 
or x cube quotient like that. First of all, arrange the polynomial in an order. That means in a descending order. Okay. So here, x cube quotient one. Keep one here. After that, second next step, x square quotient minus four. That means according to the order of the degree, terms of the uh, terms of the degrees, we have to arrange the polynomial. And then you have to write the quotients. X cube quotient one. After that, x square quotient minus four. After that, x quotient five. Constant minus two. Okay. First step is over. Second step. Keep zero under the first quotient. Okay. After that, here we have to arrange zero of this x minus one. What is zero of x minus one? X minus one is equal to zero. X is equal to one. Keep on here. Now add one plus zero is equal to one. Okay. Next one into one. First of all, add this first quotient with zero and keep the value here. This value should be multiplied with zero of this. Okay. Polynomial. That is one. One into one. Is equal to one. Keep one here. Now minus four into one. Minus four. Sir, so minus four plus one. Minus four plus one. This is minus four plus one. Is equal to minus three. Again multiply minus three with one. Minus three into one is equal to minus three. Simplify. Five plus five minus three is equal to two. 2 into 1 is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. This last value is nothing but remainder. This last value is nothing but the remainder. We got the remainder. We got the remainder by dividing this polynomial with this polynomial. We got the remainder 0. Then what about the quotient? What about the quotient? Quotient T is. This is. These are the These are the coefficients of the quotients. Coefficients of the quotients. So this is an x square quotient. This is an x quotient, and this is a constant. Okay, x square. X cube quotient is divided. The quotient will be okay of second degree. Okay, so x square, x square into one is equal to x square. Next, minus three into x. Minus 3x plus constant 2 into 1 plus 2. Okay, so quotient is x square minus 3x plus 2. So without performing any actual division method, we found the quotient and remainder. Okay, we didn't divide it, we didn't keep, we didn't keep anything. Okay, now write this as x cube minus 4x square plus 5x minus 2. Okay. So this is equal to x minus one is one of the factor into x squared minus three x plus two. Okay, but this polynomial has how many factors? Three factors. See, we got only one factor. Okay, what about this? Again, this should be resolved into two more factors. This is a polynomial of degree two. Resolve this into two more factors. Okay, for that we will write here x squared. Minus 3x plus 2. So how to factor this? Okay. First of all, take this constant 2. 2 is resolved in such a way that when multiplied, we should get 2. When simplified, we should get minus 3. So what are the factors? That means we have to find the we have to find the factors for 2 in such a way that when multiplied, we should get 2, and when simplified, we should get minus 3. So what are the factors? The factors are nothing but minus two and minus one. Minus into minus plus two into one is two. Minus two minus one minus three. Multiplied you got two, and simplified you got minus three. So the factors are the required factors are minus two and minus one. So how do we write this? X squared minus two x minus x plus two. Take the first two terms and last two terms. From the first two terms, take x as common, x of x minus two. What about the last two terms? Okay, take minus one as common, 
x minus 2 because we shall get, get a common binomial. Okay, so this is the common binomial again. Okay, right, x minus 2. That means take x minus 1, x minus 2 as common, common. x minus 2 into x minus 1. So we got the two factors. So this can be as x minus 1 into x minus 1 into x minus 2. So that, that is equal to x minus 1 whole square into x minus 2. Hence we got the three factors. So like that we can factorize a polynomial in an easy way by, by using this Horner synthetic division. Hope you understood this. Thank you very much for watching this video. Keep subscribing to Premium Tutorials. Thank you.